So the other day I was watching a YouTube video and uh, this guy opened up his terminal and there was a quote at the top of the terminal just like this. And I thought that is so cool. I want to do that too. And my first thought was maybe there's a plugin to show a quote at the top of the screen, but that is obviously ridiculous. You don't need a plugin to do something this simple. So uh, today I'm going to show you how you can do this with a single line of code. So the first thing you have to do is make a uh, file full of quotes. So I put one in here in my quotes directory code quotes. And you can see all it is is six lines. Each one has a quote on it with the author. I've got, uh, I, I, I pulled these out of a thread on Reddit. These are not my favorite quotes, uh, but some of them are pretty good. I've got Winnie the Pooh, Henry Ford, all the people you'd expect in a list of great quotes. Now, the first thing you might notice if you're a developer is that I haven't separated the author from the quote. Um, these are just lines of text. And it's really easy to start thinking, okay, I need to separate the author. So maybe I'll have a key author and then I'll have their name and then I'll have the text and uh, it'll say something like body. So author and then body or something like that. And I, I really had to stop myself from doing that because um, I really don't need to overcomplicate this. This is, this is pretty simple. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, again, you haven't written a single line of code yet. This is just a text file. There is no code being written. You need some way of actually displaying this. Okay. And you only want to display one. That, that's the important thing here. So, so there's a command I want to show you here called shuf. Uh, you should probably have this on your system. Um, and uh, let's find out what is shuf. Generate random permutations. That's great. TLDR shuf. Generate random permutations. Um, so what shuf is actually going to do is just take a uh, text file and then rearrange the uh, the lines for you. So let's try on quotes. So shuff quotes, and the quotes are in a different order. Let's run it again, different order. You get the idea. Okay, that's great, but I only want the first line. Uh, so actually I can say shuff uh, dash n one, and then the uh, file again. Okay, <laughs> there we are. So you can see this is pretty easy. This, this is the single line of code that we're gonna be using. So shuff one line for quotes and it's gonna give me a different one. Not each time because random uh, doesn't mean that it's always different. All right, and now I need this to actually show up whenever I open up my terminal. So if you have any experience with the shell before, you'll know you probably wanna put this in your RC file. So if you're on bash, that's bash RC. If you're on ZSH, ZSH RC. So uh, I'm using ZSH, and uh, I put it right down here, quote. So what am I doing? I'm. So this is a new line character. I want a new line at the top. Uh, and then right after that, I'm just uh, grabbing exactly what you saw before. So shuff uh, dash n1, so I want one line from code quotes quotes. That's it. That's all there is to it. And then after that, I have my, my logo show up down here, my cheeky little logo. All right, great. So one line of code, get a quote at the top, and uh, I can now uh, keep adding quotes and hopefully I'll come up with some better quotes. I'll find some better quotes somewhere. Um, okay, just to prove this actually works, I'm gonna actually add another quote to this. Uh, so what would be a great quote? Let me just try and come up with one off the top of my head. That, that seems pretty easy. Um, the more you try, the less you need to try. Tom. Perfect. Uh, all right, perfect. And let's see, does this gonna show? Hey, it showed up on the first try. Is it gonna show up every time? No, of course not. Okay, that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know and uh, I'll talk to you later.